So today our topic is role of housekeeping supervisor. Some roles of housekeeping supervisor are as follows: providing training. Training the housekeeping staff is a primary responsibility of supervisors. This means educating new hires on the organization policies and procedures, its method of cleaning and maintenance, the location of supplies and the layout of the facility and employees ability to do the job is often a direct reflection of the quality of trainees he receives as a supervisor you have to provide the training to the subordinates this is the primary responsibility of yours as a supervisor right so you have to educate your trainees hire new hire trainees and organization policies whatever the procedures are they are follow they has to be informed the your uh, staff also right what are the method you are using for the cleaning and maintenance of the hotel right the locations of supplies what are the layout of the facilities so these are you have to be trained your staff member also right so the employee ability to do the job is often a direct reflection of the quality of training he receives whatever you are giving the training to the your staff member then it the reflection is quality of training is it to receive right so the giving next is giving clear instructions as a supervisor you have to give the right information or right instructions to the your subordinates or your colleagues right uh, a housekeeping supervisor must be communicate effectively as a housekeeping supervisor you have to communicate very effectively and both in writing and verbally right she must he or she must clearly communicate expectations suggestions constructive criticism and company policies in a professional and easy to understand manner as a supervisor you have to inform your colleagues or your subordinates that as well as writing in writing or as well as verbally communication that communication is should be clear that what you are expecting from them right what kind of work you are want from them so your instruction should be clear right and as for the policies of uh, professional you have the policies hai company ki that you have to be informed in a proper manner and they can easily understand that manners also housekeeping supervisor use written communication to complete paperwork on daily activities employees progress and necessary supplies housekeeping supervisor use written communication to complete paperwork housekeeping person that supervisor they have to use the clear written information to the complete paperwork on a daily basis daily activities right and employees progress and necessary supplies they require they has to be right on a written form managing time and schedules you have to manage as a supervisor you have to manage the time as well as the schedules of the staff so maintain these things very effectively so these are all roles of the front of the supervisor next we will see time management is another critical function for the housekeeping supervisor he creates employee work schedules designation when and how the work will be accomplished and post the rules and regulations regarding breaks and lunch lunches and reports employees tendency and absence time management is very very important when you are working in a housekeeping department or any other department also the time is very important and critical function in housekeeping for the housekeeping supervisor so it creates the work schedules ticket right designations where he has to do work how the work will be accomplished so these are all rules and regulations you have to maintain that your own right managing equipments and supplies 
as a supervisor you have to manage the equipment as well as the supplies also right a housekeeping supervisor is responsible for taking inventory and ordering supplies housekeeping supervisor is responsible what they uh, what they are uh, like responsible taking inventory and ordering supplies it's her duty to make sure employees have what they need to perform their jobs quickly and efficiently she or he must also maintain equipment such as vacuum cleaners and floor polishers and perform simple repairs when equipment requires major repair she is responsible for having it done or ordering new equipment as a supervisor you have to maintain the inventory as well as the ordering supplies whatever the supplies they required your subordinates or your colleagues they required the definitely equipments repairs and they has to be uh, they want some any new kind of equipment so you have to order that equipment so vacuum and floor polishers these all equipments we have to be maintained by the supervisor so this also will be these all duties are under supervisor right for managing equipment and supplies providing customer services next is providing customer services providing a high standard of customer service is also important for a housekeeping supervisor he must be polite professional and open minded at all times he must listen to customer complaints and suggestion and provide constructive feedback to his staff lending a hand support providing a high standard customer services is important as the housekeeping supervisor he must be polite professional and open minded at all times the housekeeping supervisor is like customer service is also important right so high standard customer service we will provide by the uh, housekeeper housekeeping supervisor and he should be very polite and professional and open minded at all times he must listen to the guest customer complaints if someone having a some problem or some complaints so you have to be listen properly first and then you have to give the suggestion and constructive feedback to his staff you will be given right so now time for the poll first i'm launching the poll some roles of housekeeping supervisor providing training or providing car parking Are you students? Answer your questions. Submit your answer. I'm going to close the poll. Are you? Okay. So now. i'm sharing with you answer that answer is right first one is right answer providing training right housekeeping supervisor 
job business. In the hotel and motel business is good. Making sure rooms, meeting and banquet rooms are clean and equipped is the job of the housekeeping supervisor. You're going to be on three floors. I have this position is sometimes called an executive housekeeper and involves many management duties such as hiring, training and firing staff, ordering supplies and maintaining a budget. We are already discussed that training the staff, equipments, ordering equipment, maintaining the uh, organizing staffing, right? the duty and work schedules we have to make by the supervisor. You're just going to have your regular quarter. As a successful hotel is busy seven days a week, the responsibilities are round the clock. Hi, Yolanda. To do this job well, you must be able to direct a diverse staff who perform jobs such as maid service and repairs. We have already discussed that we have to inform the uh, supervisor, your colleagues or subordinates, that what has to be done, work has, what kind of work you are doing, right? And what is the right way to work? Technological skill is increasingly important as hotels are moving toward monitoring rooms with computers. To put a Russian room 1412. When a guest checks out, the front desk notifies the housekeeping supervisor who assigns a member of his or her staff to clean the room. When the guest check down, then automatically the supervisor will assign one person to clean this room as soon as possible. Right? In the past, people worked their way up the ladder in the hotel business and it was possible to become an executive housekeeper based on experience rather than education. Now, however, graduates of hotel administration programs have the inside track for management positions. Going to work for a large hotel chain makes it more likely that you can advance to increasingly important management positions. The set of skills and experience needed for hotel housekeeping translates So then you can see he went every area, he has to check every each and every area, right, the supervisor, and guide them, the, his or her subordinates, how to do. To related businesses, such as hospitals, nursing homes, and schools. How to prepare a bed for a great night's sleep. At IHG, we know that quality of sleep is one of the highest drivers of guest love and overall guest satisfaction. A comfortable bed that is made to perfection is key to a good night's sleep. This video will demonstrate how to make the bed using the IHG. You can see on your screen, the wet set, sheets, pillows, cases, soft pillows, firm pillow, pillows pillow protector, right? HG bedding collection. Place the clean linen on a chair or clean surface to avoid it getting dirty. Clean linen should not be placed on the floor. Make sure all bedding is free of rips, stains, and hair. Replace any bedding as needed. Linen size indicators, thread colors. King green, queen pink, double blue. First, smooth out any wrinkles or lumps in the mattress pad. Take the fitted sheet and find the care tag on the bottom right corner. Match this corner to the bottom right corner of the mattress. Secure the fitted sheet over the mattress so that it is snug and flat. Then spread the flat sheet right side up across the bed. Align the flat sheet with the top of the bed. Be sure to center the flat sheet on the bed, ensuring both sides are equal length. The care both sides we have to check equally, right? Care tag is located at the bottom middle of the flat sheet to help center it. Fold it back from the top about 12 inches or the length of a ruler. Fold again another 12 inches. There should be about 24 inches between the top of the mattress. Inches you can write. 24 inches and 60 centimeters from the above. In the flat sheet fold. This will ensure the pillows do not touch the flat sheet when placed. Tuck the flat sheet on both sides, the bottom corners, and at the... Here is two folds, right? The 24 inches, 60 centimeters. We place the pillows here, right? 
and side corners are like properly flat and properly tucked in inside. Foot of the bed to ensure a tight fit. Our guests have spoken mm -hmm. and we have listened. Therefore, we are switching from a triple sheet bed makeup to a duvet. Working with real room attendants like you, we created one preferred process to efficiently prepare the duvet. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Place the duvet insert in a loose accordion fold at the foot of the bed, making sure the top two corners are accessible for grabbing. This we have to cover the duvet. So both two corners we require. Spread the duvet cover, design facing up, over the bed with the large opening towards the foot of the bed. This duvet cover has two hand holes at the top of each corner. To place the duvet... Hand corners are there. The insert into the duvet cover. Locate the hand hole at the top right corner of the duvet cover. Slip your right hand into this hand hole. Then feed your right hand towards the foot of the bed. Use your left hand to gather the cover over your right arm. As your right hand exits the large opening of the duvet cover, grab the top corner of the insert with your right hand and pull it towards the headboard. As you walk back towards the headboard, use your left hand to help cover the duvet insert with the cover. Fit the corner of the insert into the top right corner of the cover neatly, meeting the edges properly. Once the corners are matched, hold the corners of the insert and cover together with your left hand. Slide your right hand into the hand hole and line the top of the insert with the top seam of the cover. At the foot of the bed, fit the bottom right corner of the duvet insert into the corner of the cover through the large opening. Along the foot of the bed, begin pulling the bottom layer of the duvet so it is visible and aligned with the duvet insert. Now, at the bottom of the left side of the bed, grab, left side also, again, you have grab the top left corner of the insert with your right hand. While walking toward the headboard, begin feeding the insert into the cover. Use your left hand to gather the duvet cover over the insert. Match the corners together in the top left corner of the bed. Once the corners are matched, hold the corners of the insert and duvet cover together with your left hand. Slide your right hand into the handhole and line the top of the insert with the top seam of the cover. It is important to make sure the duvet insert is smoothly lined with the top seam so it lays flat once folded back. Once the duvet insert is fully secured inside the cover, grab the top layer of the duvet, the duvet insert, and the under flap of the duvet cover with both hands. Lightly fluff the duvet to ensure all corners and sides of the insert are even and smooth. Make sure the duvet cover is centered on the bed and aligned. Alignment is very really important when you align the duvet cover, right? If necessary, it is permitted to tuck the underside of the cover. This is necessary to tuck inside the and the duvet insert under the mattress at the end of the bed to secure it in place. This may occur with smaller mattresses. Do not tuck the top layer of the duvet cover at the end or sides of the bed. The duvet cover will drape over the mattress on each side. The bottom corners of the duvet should not touch the floor. Fold the duvet cover back from the top one time, approximately 24 inches, leaving enough room to accommodate the pillows. Ensure the fold of the flat sheet is not visible. The solid underside of the cover should be facing up. Then, smooth out any creases or lumps in the duvet. It is important to note that the duvet cover should be washed and replaced between each guest stay. The final step in the bed making process is placing the pillows. Ensure the pillow protectors do not have any cleanliness or condition issues. If needed, replace with a new pillow protector. Make sure to use the appropriate size pillows for the bed you are making. After slipping each pillow into the case, fluff the pillows and pull out the corners to make a crisp, rectangle shape. Position the firm pillows against the headboard at a slight backward angle. The opening of the pillowcase should be facing outward. Repeat the same steps for the soft pillows. Position the soft pillows in front of the firm pillows in a slight backward angle. The opening of the pillowcase should be facing outward. The pillows should be placed behind the duvet cover. 
Make sure the pillows do not touch the fold. The corners of the pillow should be touching the middle of the bed, leaving as little space as possible between them. Make a final visual check with necessary smoothing tugs and adjustments. It's team members like you that create a great night's sleep. Managing a difference in supplies, housekeeping, or well kept. Hurry up, students, submit your answer. Okay, now Right answers, first one, housekeeping. Okay. A housekeeping supervisor often works alongside cleaners to help perform cleaning and maintenance duties. She may make beds take out trash, change light, bulbs, and perform other tasks to ensure this work is done in a timely and efficient manner, which we have seen uh, our that previous uh, video that that she make beds, right? Take out trash and change light bulbs. If any kind of bulb or any electricity may need to be changed. Right. So perform other tasks to ensure the work is done timely and efficient manner. If her staff is short-handed, she may fulfill the role of the missing team member and help out for the day. If someone is missing or someone is like on off, so if required, then she may fulfill the role of the missing team member and help out for the day. Right. The housekeeping department usually has the following supervisory positions. One is floor supervisor, linen supervisor, linen room supervisor, public area supervisor, uniform room supervisor, night supervisor, laundry supervisor, control desk supervisor. These are all supervisory positions we can offer or you can take in the hotel. These are all the positions we can take, right? Akshay, can you repeat once? These are all supervisor positions. Pardon, please, ma'am. You can repeat these supervisor. What, what are the positions we have in the housekeeping? Supervisory positions. Floor supervisor. Yes. Linear room supervisor. Right. Public area supervisor. Mm. Uniform room supervisor. Good. Night supervisor. Mm. Laundry supervisor. And control deck supervisor. Very good. So these are all supervisory positions, right? In the housekeeping department. Each supervisor is responsible for certain functions and leads a team of attendants to accomplish them. 
the assistant housekeeper so is not strictly a supervisor as for the designation but many of the duties for this position are supervisory general duties of a supervisor the general duties and responsibilities of supervisors are as follows to ensure that the staff are aware of their hours of work and that they adhere to the plan to the user to make any adjustments necessary in their off days in consultation with the concerned employees to con instruct the staff in cleaning routines and schedules some of the duties of the supervisor which we are discussing today that to ensure that the staff are aware of their hours of work that they adhere to the plan to duty roster right they has to follow the duty roster you have to plan hours for the staff and they has to be done or planned by the duty roster to make any adjustments any necessary ops right so need to be consulted first with the employees to instruct the staff in cleaning routines and schedules we have to be as a supervisor we have to instruct to the staff that cleaning has to be done routine or schedules whatever the cleaning is required where it is required right so which area is important for particular day right so you have to inform the staff accordingly to regularly fill up the cleaning and maintenance checklist and inventories after complete physical check as we have already discussed the checklist inspection checklist that we have the inspection checklist with us and supervisor will go each and every area and they tick mark on that checklist right and inventories they has to be done right after complete physical check they has to check by the physical check they has to be go around on a particular area and physically they will check the uh, areas and inventories and supplies they has to be checked physically to liaison with the maintenance department for any maintenance work required in guest rooms or public areas and to initiate work order forms liaison means coordination with the uh, maintenance department right so we have to uh, coordinate with the maintenance department if any work any maintenance work is required in the guest room or public area and to initiate work order forms this has to be done for initiate work order forms we have to fill and given to the respected areas like uh, maintenance department right to inspect and record room status regularly and liaison with the reception desk the housekeeping supervisor they has to be check or inspect every room or room status regularly or record he has to be maintained and coordination with the inspection desk that this room is occupied or not right physically he has to be check or we have to be liaison with the front office department as a housekeeping supervisor clear to issue the relevant keys keep track of them and get them safely back whatever the relevant problem is occurred so we have to uh, issue the relevant keys keep track of them and get the, uh, them safely back then you have you have to get back the safely as a not you have to if someone you will give floor uh, key then you haven't received right so there will be a problem so accordingly the timings according to the shift you have to hand over the floor key and then after that you have to collect them properly to be responsible for following the correct procedures in dealing with lost and found articles when employees hand these in he has to be responsible for the correct procedure in dealing with lost and found articles what do you mean by lost and found articles anyone students may ask may may i tell me ma'am yes if i if i tell tell about lost and found lost mm -hmm. and found is procedure of housekeeping department 
when when uh, when other uh, when uh, any have a, any have a guest in a stay a stay room that's um, uh, that's after after um, after check after after this time of checkout and uh, this responsibility of housekeeping department they see of in everywhere is, is equipment is properly that's mean that's means lost and found and uh, any have uh, equipments not uh, not uh, uh, broken or broken of broken that guest that's that's all about of lost and found sir okay anyone else students want to share with me lost and found yes yes i ma'am jaise hotel mein check out ke baad kisi guest ki koi bhi cheez wahan pe reh jati hai to yes yes ma'am if any guest lost their item in a uh, room uh, then it's a uh, housekeeping department's duty uh, to uh, manage that uh, uh, manage that item on lost and uh, found record book me mm -hmm. yes ma'am yes and uh, he have to uh, give to uh, that uh, guest that item okay anyone else students so lost and found if a housekeeping guest room attendant finds any guest own article left in the checkout room then it is recorded in the lost and found register right so any employee any uh, room attendant found any articles left from the guest right so he has to be found and he we have to be write down in the register lost and found register in a proper manner date of arrival guest date of departure guest name guest items right so we have to write down each and everything about the guest this has to be done by the supervisor who is responsible for following the correct procedure in dealing with lost and found articles when employees hand this in to check the stocks regularly take delivery of stocks and issue supplies to attendant properly we have to check the uh, stocks regularly right like all the equipments all the uh, if we required uh, solutions right for the cleaning purpose so detergents or equipment so many things are supplies we required so we have to check really regularly stock take delivery of stocks and issue supplies to the attendants we have to issue the supplies to the attendants on a daily basis right what are the requirements how many rooms they are going to be clean so accordingly supplies we have to be issues on a daily basis by the supervisor so he has to be checked the housekeeping department usually has the following supervisory positions one is floor supervisor legal supervisor public area supervisor and host so this is the uh, multiple choice question Are you students? I'm going to end this poll. Submit your answer.
thing so the right answer is row supervisor women supervisor and public area supervisor general duties of a supervisor work in restaurant to make any adjustments necessary in their off days in consultation with the concerned employees Hurry up, students! Submit your answer. I'm going to end this poll. Yes. So the right answer is to make any adjustments necessary in their day off in consultation with the concerned employees. The second one is right answer. Right. Okay, students. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.